Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She had the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Cancer, this will be your addition to Sexy Heads to Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Cancer, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders in the cards, keep in mind their energies. Cancer, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Cancer, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There is a link to a free nature chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted via cash app at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Cancer, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading for August the 16th. Through the 31st, 2021, let me get you to scoop. Spirit, what energies are surrounding cancer? What energies are surrounding cancer, spirit? What energies are surrounding cancer? What? Spirit, what energies are surrounding cancer? What energies are surrounding cancer? August 16th through the 31st, spirit. What energy the surrounding cancer August 16th through the 31st? Spirit, what energy is the surrounding cancer? What energies I see it? At the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading cancer is the warrior. The warrior. Some of you are done with an Aries. And Cancer, you're fighting for something right now. And whatever you're fighting for, you don't know if you can trust it. You don't know if it's really meant for you. You don't know how it's going to work out. You're afraid of being let down. You're afraid it's still some things you don't know, but you're fighting for it. At the bottom of the deck, you have Transmute. Some of you may be dealing with Scorpio. You have the Explorer. I'm looking at them eyes. See those two eyes? And the Alchemist. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, or Gemini. And the Explorer is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. That's like my page of swords. So you looked into something. You saw something. And whatever you saw, you came to this realization that you wanted to change the dynamic of this connection or change the dynamic of something. And you realized you had all the tools you needed to make this happen. And so because you realized you had everything that it took to make it happen, you were willing to fight for it. However, there is this fear residing in you that there's still some things you don't know there's some fear residing in you that you don't know if you can fully have faith in the situation as is and you want to do what's best for you. And for right now, all you could really do is fight for it, but you're not sure what you're even fighting for. Cancer, you have self-love. And you trying to you trying to feel beautiful again. I'm not saying you're not beautiful. And something shook your confidence. It did. 
And right now, spirit is calling on you to find that beauty within you and find that self-love and highlight it. Do what's best for you. Spirit, tell me about this self-love for cancer. Why self-love here for cancer, spirit? At the bottom of the deck, you have fear, told you, success, and reflection. And now you're doing that self-reflection. Walking down memory lane. And everything in your past that has occurred tells you that or instills in you this fear that something isn't going to work out. There's something that you're fighting for that in the past let you down and you fear it's going to let you down again. And with this sadness, you communicated that you felt like somebody didn't appreciate you. Or someone communicated to you that they didn't think that you appreciated them. That possibly you took them for granted or they took you for granted. And it made somebody sad. Somebody felt like one person had all the benefits in this connection. It could be a work connection, a romantic connection. I don't know. I can't tell right now. But it's something you're fighting for. Spirit. Right now, somebody feels like either cancer or their person, but I'm going to say it's you, cancer. Somebody feels like they were taken for granted and that they wasn't recognized for their contributions. Somebody could have lost their self-esteem. Tell me about this self-love and sadness for cancer spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have outcome, runner, and loss. Cancer. It's like you got the self-defeatist attitude. I'm serious. You feel like it's no positive outcome. Or somebody feels like it's no positive outcome, like it's no hope. That's what I'm hearing. And because you feel like somebody didn't see your contributions or know you for exactly who you are, then maybe it's time for you to move on with this travel card, take on a new role, see some different things, do some different things. Spirit, tell me why this travel card is here for cancer. Why is this travel card here for cancer, Spirit? Please and thank you. Why is this travel card here? At the bottom of the deck, Cancer, you have the moon. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. You have the bear. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. And the bridge. And you trying to find the courage and strength to face these emotions. Because it's a lot of emotions here. And these emotions and what you face is going to determine if you're going to move forward in this 
or walk away. But you want it. You want it. You want the stability. For some of you, it's a marriage. I have 11 on this side, and I have 11 on this side. And you don't know where it's going. You don't know if you just running around in circles with this marriage or this commitment. If you know the decisions the two of you made are going to change the dynamic. If there's still passion here, but you're trying to figure out if you traveling in circles, you could have traveled to your lover, somebody you have a commitment with. But what I'm hearing cancer is, is you're sad because you want to do what makes you happy. And you don't know if you traveling in circles with someone or something. But yet you're fighting for it. The problem is you don't know what you're fighting for. Spirit. Cancer feels sad. They feel like their contributions wasn't recognized. They feel like they're moving in circles. That's what I'm hearing. And some commitment or some marriage or employment. Tell me about this moving in circles for cancer. At the bottom of the deck, you have foundation and achievements. And for some of you, this is a family life, a home life, a marriage, or a higher level of commitment. It has to do with stability. Third eye chakra and passion ignited. And there's a new opportunity for passion here to change this. And you're using your intuition to carry you along in this stability because you love this. This is your family. And you just want everything to go right. And intuitively, you're paying attention to your cognition to have this foundation and achieve the ultimate goal, which is winning this bet. That's what you're fighting for. You have crown chakra. Crown chakra. And these intuitive downloads are telling you that you might be moving in circles. And it's making you sad. Because it's like you're fighting for, you're fighting for, but somebody don't see the value that you bring. Right? Spirit, tell me about this crown chakra energy for cancer. And you trying to stay optimistic. Tell me about this crown chakra energy for cancer. <coughs> you trying. At the bottom of the deck, you had peace here and now and poise. And you trying to keep your composure. So you ain't making no rash moves right now. You trying to keep your composure. Because you're going to do this with grace. In the end, they're not going to say it was your fault. Because here and now, you just trying to keep the peace. Mm-hmm. See, because somebody mirroring you. See that 32 and 23? Because y'all trying to make change. Two eggs. Two eggs. Y'all trying to grow something. 
And whatever this is, it's going to determine if y'all going to move forward. But you going to do it with grace. Whatever it is, you going to come out on top. And you're not making no rash moves. And the reason you're not making no rash moves because you between worlds. You thinking, am I going to be stuck in this like you almost settling for something? Or should I work on something new? Can this be fixed? Will these dark times ever be over? Do this person even think of me as beautiful? Are they thinking about working on it as hard as I am? Or am I just traveling in circles? Let's get some tarot on this. But you fighting. Spirit, can you tell me about this crown chakra in between worlds for cancer? Cancer is thinking that they between worlds. You know, they right in the middle of something. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the five of coins. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus. You have the two of coins. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. And you have the eight of swords. And you feel stuck. Now, how long I gotta wait? How long I gotta give to this and not get nothing out of it? Like, you feel stuck. When are you going to get something out of this? Or do you gotta keep proving yourself? And with the Six of Wands, some of you are done with a Leo. You recognize, or you made an announcement with this Palace of Cups about the emotions, the love in this home, and you want to win it back, or somebody's trying to win their family back. And with this Eight of Pentacles, whoever this Virgo is, this is who's trying to win their family back. It's either a Leo or a Virgo. Somebody trying to fight for you. That's what it is. Whoever this Aries is, this Leo or this Virgo, they trying to fight for you. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. And you spoke your truth. Like, you don't appreciate me. You don't appreciate the contributions I bring to this. Every time I try to Work on this. Like you just got me running in circles. You know your worth. And this person, if they want you, they better do what they need to do. That's what I'm hearing. So, somebody recognize they better put this work in. Let me see what this eight of Pent coins is about because somebody got some work to do and it ain't you. Tell me about this eight of coins for cancer. Spirit, why is this eight of coins here for cancer, spirit? There's some work and this person better pay attention to detail because shit all broke and falling apart and if they better put it back together, uh-huh, the three of pentacles, they had to write you a plan of how they was going to do it and everything. And you like, mm -mm, you got to do this shit on your own. You broke it, you fix it. At the bottom of the deck, you had the Ten of Swords. You had the Shadow side, which is my double energy in the Fool. Some of you are done with the Aries. But Cancer, why I see that somebody took a risk here? This is why they got to fix it. Somebody took a risk. They gave into some temptation that basically destroyed this connection. Some of you dealing with the Aries. And what they working on is collaborating with you and putting this plan in place. They had to tell you the truth first. 
This person told you they treasure you, they value you, and there's still hope here. And they putting a plan together, they working this plan for their stability, their independence, because they don't want to be left alone. With this page of cups, possibly with some children, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But this person has to work out a plan to keep this family and these children stable. So we could go either way for you. But you good. Yeah, you good. I see that. Cancer, you had shadow. Shadow. Some of you are done with a Pisces. See, what's that moon energy? And you don't know how long you could be nice. You fear something is too good to be true. That's what I heard. You fear something is too good to be true, and you don't know how long you can keep up keep up being nice because somebody trying to fight for you. Like all of a sudden with this offer, they want to take you out on dates. Because they stuck. But you don't know who else they was being sweet to. You don't know who else they was making offers to. You don't know who else they was going out with. So you fear it's too good to be true. You don't know if they offer somebody else a commitment or if they lying to you. Because you hope they telling the truth. You hope they telling the truth. Because if they not, it's over. It's over. They better be telling the truth. They better have told you everything they need to tell you. If they want to heal and fix this connection. Somebody was like, you the center of my world. But somebody's scared. And you like, I don't know how long I can keep being nice. I don't even know if you telling me the truth. But they fighting. Spirit, can't you hope this person telling them the truth? This person negotiating, compromising with you, bargaining, because they want you back. So, Spirit, can't you help, hope somebody telling them the truth? <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Some of you are done with a Pisces. You have the Moon, Pisces again, and the Six of Cups. Some of you are done with a Scorpio. And there's something from the past here that secretly is your wish fulfillment. Or something from the past here is secretly a Pisces wish fulfillment. Possibly a Scorpio, because I'm looking at that Scorpio, and this is Pisces, and this is Pisces. Don't got to be these signs, but I call them out for those that want to know. This can involve your children, but reconcile. Secretly, somebody wishes to bring their children back together. Or secretly, somebody wishes to reconcile with someone from their past. And you hope this person telling you the truth. When it comes to the Seven of Cups, they were that Scorpio again, these options. You hope they ain't lying to you 
about making a decision to cut this off cold with this king of swords and with this king of wands energy because this person is aries leo sagittarius energy aquarius gemini libra energy or they can have it in a chart they were supposed to take action because they they like this a lot whatever it was and they were supposed to coldly cut off these options and they better not be lying about doing it because you don't know if they telling you the truth so let me see if they actually did it Let's see what actions they took. Spirit, tell me about this King of Swords. What, what is this King of Swords doing, Spirit? Can you tell Cancer what this King of Swords is doing? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups, Justice, and the High Priestess. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. But, secretly, somebody feels like a new love is a better option. They're not telling the other person. This could be you or your person. Some of you are dealing with a Libra with this justice. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Secretly, the new love or this new blessing balance somebody out. But you the one that want to know if they cut off the arch. Now, I asked what this King of Swords did. They definitely lying about something. But you hope they tell them the truth. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Cups too. What they did is they still want to hold on to this person because they were supposed to cold cut them off. They want to hold on to them, right? But they are ignoring them with this Four of Cups. They are ignoring them. The person could have reached out to them, but they're ignoring them. But they don't like ignoring them. Right now, they just trying to make sure that you don't leave cancer with this charity. So they doing what's best for the connection. They are ignoring the person, but cold cut them off. I don't know. So let's clarify the seven of cups. Because they lying. It's a lie here. And that's why we clarify shadow. Because they so sweet on this person. Spirit, tell me about this seven of cups. It look like it's a lie here. This snake in this shell is popping out and it's beating. Like this ladybug. At the bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles, the high priest, and the world. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign such as an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Leo, a Scorpio. And some of you are dealing with a Taurus. But this could be a marriage. And this person doesn't want to lose their marriage. I'm going to tell you that right now. If this is a marriage. 
They want to structure and organize things. They want your forgiveness. They do. They want to stop their marriage from ending. They know it's a make it or break it moment or stop this commitment from ending. Now, I asked about the seven of swords. So they are ignoring the person with this two of swords. However, they do, they are confused. They do want to go towards this person. However, you could be dealing with the parent and your child. They decide they want to nurture and grow this connection. But what they lying about is being confused. So no, they not with this person. No, they not communicating with this person. But what they lying about is they are confused. They did want it. They did want it. But this person blocked them. This person blocked them. And that's why they ain't been in communication with their person. See, this person blocked them. Because they still want to head towards it. And you over here like, yeah, I better not catch you. That's what they lying about. So they did want to hold on to the person. The person could have reached out to them and they rejected them or didn't give them no, whatever response the person wanted. So the person decided to block them. Do they still want the person? Yeah. Are they still communicating with the person? No. Do they want to fight for you? Yeah. Cancer, you have truth. You have truth. And this is you, this is what you want to know. You better tell me the truth. Everything here is about they better tell you the truth. With the surrender card, they better surrender everything, tell you everything. You better tell me the truth. About whatever this is from the past. You better tell me the truth. That's all I keep hearing. All four of these cards is telling me. That you saying you better tell me the truth. Did you really cut that option off? Because if you didn't cut that option off, I'm going to leave you. You better tell me the truth. Or I'm going to leave you. Truth be told. Truth. Because shadow, hope, like, it's like you think somebody lied to you. And you, it's like you got to hire your grand to win this. And you like, you ain't recognize what I was bringing to this table. Like, it hurts you that this person couldn't see all you was doing and recognizing your efforts. And now they a day late and a dollar short trying to fight for this thing here. And you like, you better be telling me the truth. You better be telling me the truth. Did you leave that option behind? Spirit, tell me about choose wisely and time to go for cancer. Tell me about choose, because you don't leave this person if they didn't. Tell me about time to go and choose wisely for cancer. <coughs> At the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Justice, some of you are dealing with a Libra and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. And this is you like, you better tell me the truth. If you want this, you better tell me the truth because I will take your ass to court. I will call my lawyer. If you lying to me, I'm leaving you with this queen of coins energy. Some of you are married to this person. This is a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, possibly. 
But the queen of pentacles, the queen of coins is usually a stable, rooted, grounded person. She's usually married. If you and you tell this person, if you lying to me about letting them go, I'm going after something new myself. If I find out you keep it any secrets, you hold it anything back. If you take this risk and hold anything back, I'm turning my back to this. All I keep hearing is you better be telling me the truth. I want to see this four of pentacles. Spirit, some of y'all done with a Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about this four of pentacles. And again, some of y'all done with an Aries. You, they be a damn fool. That's what I'm hearing. Tell me about this four of coins for um, cancer. Yeah, you like, if you keeping anything from me, and you still seeing this person, I'm getting a divorce. I'm leaving you. I'm moving. This is over. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is you waiting to see how things play out. The Two of Pentacles as to whether you will be single and with this Three of Swords, leave this person ass right out in the cold. And you watching this person jump through hoops too. And you just waiting to see how it play out. Because if, if they lie to you, it's over. It's over. If they disappoint you in any little way and lie, it's over. And with this four coins, if you find out they took a risk and kept a secret about giving to somebody else with the six of pentacles, and again, they can have kids, and find out they wasn't fair to you with this world card, it's over. They better confess everything if they want an opportunity to fix this. Let me get you some advice for this reading. Spirit, what advice you have for cancer regarding this reading? What advice you have for cancer regarding this reading spirit? What advice you have for cancer regarding? Yeah, you like, you just watching this person. They better do what they need to do. Spirit, what advice you have for cancer regarding this person? What advice do you have for cancer regarding this person? And you be getting angry, but you be keeping your cool like a mother lover. What advice do you have for cancer regarding this person? What advice you have for cancer regarding, well, I'm sorry, regarding this reading. Cancer, you have wise one. Grow within your current situation. This situation surely taught you some damn lessons. It grew you right on up. And spirit like conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach, but don't stop now. Wait till you get to the end. Like, wait till you get to the end. Let, let this play all the way out. Cancer spirit is like Earth Guardian. Earth Guardian. They saying stay rooted and grounded because something keep upsetting you with this emotions of running high. And cancer like no spirit like no cancer. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. You know, stay 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 rooted and grounded. Stay rooted and grounded. And spirit is like when you get upset, pray and ask your angels. Ask your angels to give you strength because something pissing you off. 
and you don't know how long you can keep your cool. And Cancer, with this guardian angel spirit, is telling you you are not alone. You're very intuitive. You get the psychic downloads you need. You know what the truth is. And spirit is saying your dreams need a practical plan. Your dreams need a practical plan. Um, some of you are dealing with is Taurus, but you have to understand that a new start is coming. And you got to trust that you're going to be just fine. And Cancer Spirit is saying the situation will improve. The situation will improve. And you're not alone. And somebody is trying to work a plan with you to make this happen. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. All I know is they better be telling you the truth. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This has been your edition of Sexy Heads of Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Cancer. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video, cross watching, you better be telling Cancer the truth. Peace, Cancer. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces are the number one subscribers wondering what sexy sees. You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror.